Remember those game books? They were sort of like RPG light books that had simpler RPG systems with pages and pages of branching story depending on your choice of actions. Turn to page 51 if you hid in the bushes or turn to page 13 if you jumped in front of the troll waving your sword about. Yeah, you probably haven't if you were born after the millennium. Sorcery is kinda like that. The way I would put it, it's a game book video game, which honestly seems like a contradiction. I mean, how could a book be a video game anyways? Okay, let me put it this way instead. It's a video game that's crafted to feel like a game book. You start off sorcery by picking your hero. It's either a he or a she, and that's it. No picking perks or assigning points to attribute. It's as light as RPGs can be. Obviously, sorcery puts more emphasis on immersing you in its well-written story and original world rather than systems. The story goes that the crown of kings has been stolen and it's up to you to track it down and bring it back to your king. Because without the crown, the people are divided and the country will crumble into civil war. You set off on an adventure on this gorgeously hand-drawn map. You are open to the possibilities of taking so many different routes in this deep and rich fantasy story. Despite being entirely presented in text and some illustrated bits on certain characters, sorcery makes good use of ambient sound. You hear the calm breeze blowing in the meadow, the noise from farm animals, the incessant chatter at a busy market in a village, the sound of a distant storm. Sorcery masters the art of using sound to aid in storytelling. What's rather unique about sorcery is the way it handles combat and magic. Combat is about guessing the enemy's move by actually reading the description of what's happening. If you notice he or it is about to do a powerful attack, defend and reduce the damage taken. When you attack, you use attack power to unleash devastating attacks, but the more power you use, the less you have for the next round. So knowing when to build up your attack power is rather important. Casting spells actually requires memorization of letter combinations associated with different spells. FOF is force field and HOT is fireball. Hmm, subtle. You learn these spells by reading the spell book and you'll discover new spells in your travels. Spells will cost you mana and sometimes gold or certain ingredients. There's a lot to like in sorcery. If you are into narrative experiences, then don't depend on explosive action or Hollywood level cutscenes. But in the written word, sure it's Maybe not for everyone, but if you like reading a good fantasy story, sorcery is right up your alley with a huge number of branching parts and variations in the story that you develop based on your choices. Choices that aren't really permanent since it's really easy to just hit the rewind button to where you want to rethink your options. It's good that it's this way so that if you die, you don't have to start all over again. But in my heart, there's this feeling that I have. Every time I hit the rewind button, it feels like cheating. But who doesn't cheat anyway when reading a game book? The first two parts of Sorcery starts off strongly, and I can't wait for part 3 and 4. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.